Welcome back everyone to our Steam Let's Play of Wild Arms Alter Code F on El Tyrus YouTube channel. Where we last left off we had gone through the mountain cave and come upon Malama, the town filled with an abundance of water. We had gone to, I believe it was the sand caverns or the sand sea and found the radar tool for Rudy and after using that we were able to locate a turtle doll fashioned after Sturdark for a little girl here in Malama, which will then now enable us to talk to the owner of the bar, who is apparently the son or grandson of the priest, or a priest that used to work at the Guardian Temple, which is where we need to go next. Before I do anything further, I've written down what I did off camera, so, I, so I'm not like, um, I think I did this and I think I did that. But anyway, so around the Malama area, when you're using the item scope, to search for items on the field uh, from where we are so from after coming out of the mountain pass in all the world map area from there between there and Malama you can find one outer part I found a bottle floating in the water but I couldn't get to it because I don't have a ship yet so I guess that's something we'll have to come back to and I also found a revived fruit also, in addition to this, Rudy is now level 13, Jack is level 13, and Cecilia is level 12. So I believe we may have had a few of our characters go up a level. And that's better. Sorry, guys. Bloody plugins. I'll just have to cut that, cut that little bit out there. Alright, so... Oh, also, uh, one of my followers mentioned... Um, Hacksaw, I think his name was. <laughs> uh, mentioned that reaction is uh, a key statistic for Jack's spells, uh, his fast draw techniques. Um, they draw on the reaction statistic. Anyway, Cecilia has a skill called Quick, um, which actually you find out is useful by talking to this guy. And I've already read it anyway, but Ramsey basically told you that Quick is good um, in conjunction with the fast draw technique. So there's that little tip there. I just thought I'd point that out because I was talking about that in the comments with Hacksaw. Anyway, let's continue. We actually get a little scene here. The Guardian's Temple. I haven't heard that name in a while. Well, I can tell you everything I do know. A long time ago, my father was the priest in that temple. He used to tell me all kinds of stories. I guess it's odd since I ended up a bar owner. Yeah, a priest's son ending up as a bar owner. I have to take care of something. Do you mind waiting a little bit? He's not even busy. He has one customer. Not at all. We'll just order something for while we wait. Good idea. Tell you what, this meal is on the house. It's been a while since I've talked about my father or the temple. Alright, what's the most expensive dish on the menu? Just kidding. What should we get? We will have six orders of large chow mein with extra vegetables. Is that okay? What? Six? There's only four of us. Well, certainly miss. But don't you think six orders is a little much for your group? As long as you finish it. Six orders of chow mein coming right up. I think I'll have to charge you next time though. Isn't chow mein what uh, was made in the current Abbey? I wonder if it'll be good as, as good as it... Whoa, they finished it all. I wonder if it will be as good as the chow mein served in the Abbey. The enemy outnumbered us almost two to one. However, our troops successfully engaged in blitz tactics and we attacked the enemy. One by one, our men had to stop, but there were still so many of them. If it wasn't for one soldier who continued her efforts, her firepower, speed, and war tactics were just too much for our enemies. She finished off the last enemies with a vengeance. All of the creatures who fell to her violence met a cruel and merciless end. Her ferocity towards the enemies even drew shivers down the spines of her own allies. How'd you like our real-time war report on the Great Chow Mein Uprising? It was a crazy battle. Wait, we forgot about the reserve armies. The fresh young carrot and broccoli cadets. Poor guys never had a chance. Okay, you two, that's enough. 
Everyone in Kurin Abbey eats just as much. I'm sure some of them eat even more than me. Anyhow, being a medium and using crest spells takes a lot out of me. And I get hungry. You're not a medium, you're a... Aren't you like a shrine maiden or a... What was it, innocent one? What's the term? Sh shaman, shaman. And I love charming. It not only tastes great, but it looks so yummy too. I really enjoyed mealtimes at the Abbey. The other girls and I would just chat and eat. It was so different at the Abbey. I wonder actually, considering she's the only female in the party, does that really have any effect on her spirits? Like she doesn't have other females to converse with. There's just J Jack and Rudy. I was going to say Rack. Rack and Judy. <laughs> um, and Hampan. And Hampan, I think, is male as well. So she being the only female in the party would get a, bit a, a little bit lonely, wouldn't you say? In the castle, everyone just regarded me as royalty, not as a real person. I was the princess, and they were my entourage. Dinners were the worst. It was all about the fine china and etiquette, and being proper and dainty. And it was lonely. The people of Edelhide love Cecilia the princess, but no one knows anything beyond that, what kind of food I like, or anything. And now more than ever, I need to be the princess and recover the teardrop. Sometimes I miss my days at the Abbey. Oh. Well, you know what? Okay, I have some free time now. Are you ready to hear about the temple? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you guys in the middle of something? Don't worry about it. If you would, we would like to hear about the Guardian's temple. What is he wearing? Sure thing. Oh, doesn't Akihiko in Persona 3 have those things on his sleeve as well? What are they supposed to do? Like, is it purely aesthetic or is there a practical reason to them? I don't even know what they're called. First, the Guardian's temple is north of Malama right by the lake that's past the woods. Well, I've already been there. And I couldn't find it because I didn't have the clue. Let me see, what else? Okay, you probably don't know this part since it's not really part of the legend. My father told me about a prayer room where only priests are allowed to enter. He used to tell me about that room a lot. Maybe he wanted me to follow in his footsteps. Anyway, here's the juicy part. You'll want to listen up. At 3.30, the door to that prayer room opens. I'm pretty sure that's what he used to tell me. Is this what you guys wanted to know? It's exactly what we were looking for. That's great. I'm glad I can be of some help to you. Why don't you stay here tonight? Don't worry, I won't charge you for it. So we get a free meal and free accommodation. I wish everywhere was... I wish the real world was like that. I wish I could just rock up to like the Hilton and then be like... Uh, the meal and accommodation is on us. Does he have anything else to say? My father would snack and head to the temple right before the clock struck 3.30pm. I'm not sure what this means, but hopefully it can help you out in some way. I'm pretty sure in the original Wild Arms, Montague, I don't even know if his name is Montague in the original, but he gives you a item that allows you to get into the memory temple. Uh, Guardian's Temple. Get out of my way, bitch. And that clue about 3.30 is really important. Uh, it actually forms as part of a puzzle that is quite... Oh, well, it comes up on the map anyway. It uh, is quite detrimental to getting into the temple. And there's actually... Uh, it's kind of a little bit deceptive, and you need to kind of be a bit cluey to figure out what you need to do. But I should probably let you see what I'm talking about rather than just talking about it. And that's why I got it confused with Memory Temple, because it looks the same on the map. I hope you guys are well. Oh yes, the music in here is amazing. Alright, is there anything? So there's a door here. The device is on which prevents the door from being opened. Oh, what a shame. so cool. 
Wait, that's a... Another... Need a duplicator for that one. I need to remember to write that down. Okay. Right handle operates the long hand. Left handle operates the short hand. Point out the right spot, not the wrong angle. That's really important. So, wait a second. Left hand operates the short hand. Oh, that's right. That's why it was so hard. Because what I did last time was I went... So that's 30, the 330. But what you have to remember is when you're using a clock, 330 does not look like that. And for so long when I was doing this, I'm like, why isn't the door opening? It's right. But the hour hand moves as like that. It moves to between the digits as the minute hand moves around. And I wasn't thinking like, I wasn't thinking straight when I did it. And I'm like, why isn't this working? And then I'm like, oh, I get it now. Oh, this music is so awesome. And we can now get into battles and I think we need Broody actually. Of course. There are hidden doorways. Open. Lucky card. Yellow card. Oh, sneaky. What? This must be the right way. I'm going to go back because I think this is the right way. It might not be though. I might be. Once you pass through them, the doorways will remain open. I'm going to let us get into a battle. We'll see what new enemies we have to encounter in here. Oh my god. They look scary. They look like they're out of Harvester. Or... Is that even a horror movie? I'm just like making it. I'm just making it up. Oh, the Lemire looks scary too. Analyze Scarecrow. Oh. Weak against light. Okay, level nine. I want to analyze the harpy as well. You can attack that and analyze the harpy. Oh, I had an Alter Part too. Oh, actually, I don't think there was an Arms Mine. Oh, yes, there was. There was an Arms Master in Milan. It wasn't there. I should go back and use the Alter Part eventually. Breath Mint, Silver Heart, Weak Against Ice. Well, I don't have Ice Attacks. Oh, I need to buy the spell that prevents. Well, it doesn't prevent, that cures illnesses like. The equivalent of Final Fantasy is Ishuna. Yay! Oh, we already did that one. Okay. Can you look at... Yeah. The light will expose the true path. Then, the deceiving illusion will disappear and the door to the altar will be opened. So let's do it again. I really like the radar tool. I think it's really handy. And I really love the redesign of Guardian Temple. Ice Gem. Kill there. Uh, the Ice Gem could be useful against the Lemires. Although they don't really pose a threat. Go back here. Okay, so we'll have Cecilia level up soon. Which will be handy because then she'll be on par with the other party members. An interesting fact is that the Scarecrows will use an ability called Reflect that reflects all magic back. So it's probably not a good idea to use any magic. Uh, any magic in those battles. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Well, that was an interesting battle. The Lamia used Slumber Fog on both Cecilia and Rudy and put them to sleep. And then it proceeded to poison Jack, but it looks like he's fine now. Okay. I don't want to go that way yet because I'm not sure. That's the right. Ah, uh, thought so. That was the right way. So you may have noticed in that battle before it started, well I cut the battle out anyway, but before it started it was a red exclamation mark. That means that you were ambushed and unfortunately we got amnesia status so I don't know how to kill that. Oh, it's a toy hammer. It's the only one we have. Well, I guess we had to... Oh my god, it's not the right way. These enemies are quite troublesome. I don't remember them being like this before. I probably should look at dismissing some of the battles, but in any case, Cecilia's one experience point off leveling up. So... Up. I might give that to you. Increases the chance of counterattack by a little. Yeah, because he's the strongest, so let's give it to him. And he acts faster than the others. Not that that matters with the counter, but anyway. Looks like we're at the end of the temple. What I might do is just, uh, this looks like a good stopping point anyway. So this has been Astian on Eltari's YouTube channel, taking you on a let's play of Wild Arms Alt Codef. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, and share, as it helps me out immensely. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode, where we finally meet the Guardians. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.